My name is Cynthia Lane, and the book that I have chosen to read and report on is Eleanor. There's a picture of her. One of the things that's interesting about this book is that there's a picture on the front cover, but if you turn it over on the back, there's the title, Eleanor Quiet No More. This was written by Doreen Rappaport. And I chose this book because Eleanor has always been one of my favorite historical characters and for sure my favorite female character. Um, throughout this book, which I thought was pretty neat, is she has quotes scattered throughout it. And the very first one is inside the front cover and it says, do something every day that scares you. And I thought that was pretty appropriate for today. Eleanor was born into a family of means. She had any, everything that any child could possibly want. She never wanted for anything except for her mother's affection. Her mother never showed her love or affection. Her father did. He lavished her with attention. Um, he loved her very much, but her mother would criticize her and demean her often in front of other people. She would call her granny and um, Eleanor was kind of a, a quiet girl and kind of stood back a little bit. So this did nothing for her self-esteem whatsoever. Both of her parents died, however, before she was the age of 10. And so she went to live with her grandmother. Now her grandmother did love her, but there again, she didn't show it. When she was 15, she went to England to go to school. And there she had this wonderful teacher that really brought her out of her shell. She encouraged her to read. She encouraged her to go out and explore. And at that time, girls just weren't encouraged to go out by themselves. That was something that just wasn't done. So that was pretty neat. She convinced Eleanor that she was capable of achieving anything if she just put the effort into doing it. So this was a real turning point for her. She returned to the United States and lived with her grandmother again. And her grandmother would try and get her to go out to parties and socialize because she wanted her to be able to meet and marry a rich, suitable young man. She did meet somebody. He happened to be a distant cousin of hers, and his name was Franklin Delano Roosevelt. They did marry. However, that um, had some problems within itself for several different reasons, but one was that her mother-in-law did not like Eleanor at all. She tried to run the family. She tried to tell them how to raise their children. She even bought a house for them, which was adjacent to hers. It was a three-story house, and she had a door built on each floor so that it was a direct entry into her own home, or she could enter their home via that, that those doors. Um, she tried to tell them how to decorate the home, and she basically tried to run everything that they were doing. Franklin ran for the Senate, and he won the election so that meant that they moved to albany and this made eleanor very happy because it removed them from her mother-in-law he continued to run for office and each level was a little higher and he kept winning um what happened at this time though there was this horrible disease that was out that was called polio and he contracted this and it was quite debilitating so eleanor had to go out and do a lot of the campaigning for him which um she had gained more and more interest in politics. As time went on, she would often sit and listen to him strategize with his, with his um, team. Once he won the office of president, she was even more involved. It wasn't unusual for her to go out and um, speak to different unions or she'd visit hospitals and investigate the deplorable conditions that the sailors and soldiers um, were in. She would go to factories where she'd find young children working long hours. She was against racism, against anti-Semitism, and against the Japanese internment camps that the country had at that time. Eventually, Franklin did die. He died in his 13th year of the presidency. At that time, there were no term limits. And after him, President Truman got Eleanor to work for the UN. She continued to travel all over the world and she did many marvelous things. Um, it's my opinion that she is probably the best first lady that the country had had at that time and since then. 
And in some regards, you can consider that she was the president because she did everything for him. I think this is a great book um, based on what I feel is a great woman. And I encourage anybody to read it. Thank you.